Hey everybody, this is Brandon from CAD Intentions, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a hatch in AutoCAD. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers! So in this video, I'm going to show you how to hatch an object or fill an object. Um, it's pretty simple and I'm going to show you a few different ways you can go about it as well as dealing with a few um, irregular shapes. To start with, we're going to hatch a pretty typical uh, shape and that's going to be this rectangle here. Uh, so to start you can click the hatch button on the ribbon and that'll be under your home tab. Um, or you can type in hatch and hit enter. It's going to open up the hatch creation toolbar up here and that's what you call a fill of an object or a shape in AutoCAD. So you can choose the boundaries of your uh, of your hatch by either selecting an object or picking a point inside of an, a closed object, and I'm going to show you both. So to start, we're going to pick a point, um, and before that you can select which pattern you want to use, or you can do that afterwards, you can change it later. So I'm just going to do a solid, and I'm going to do green, and we're going to pick a point. And this means you're going to select a point inside an enclosed area. So this open shape over here, you can see it won't uh, find a closed boundary to fill. So it won't work. But if I use this uh, rectangle down here, I can simply click inside of it and it's hatched. Now you can change any of the settings up here. Uh, you can give it some transparency. Um, you can change the color. You can change the pattern completely. You can change the scale. See, we've got a bunch of dashed lines. You can change the scale up to 25 or 100. And when you're done, you can simply hit enter and it finalizes it. Now you've got a hatch object, which you can select and you can actually change the boundaries by dragging them like that. Hit undo to go back. You can also change the properties of an existing fill or hatch by selecting it and the hatch editor will open up. Uh, if it doesn't, you can right click and go hatch edit. Uh, and then you can change the pattern. There's hundreds to choose from. And if something doesn't quite look right, you might need to play with the scale depending on uh, what scale you're at uh, in your drawing and and uh, how zoomed in or how large or small the object is. But that's a typical kind of, probably the most used uh, way you're going to hatch things is just by clicking inside of an object. Now the second way you can do them, I'm going to type in hatch, hit enter, and I'm going to select an object to hatch. So I'll choose a new color so you can tell just do solid. So I'm going to select the actual circle and now it's filled inside of it. Uh, another cool use for this is you can choose two objects and it will fill the difference if you'd like. So for this one here you could just click inside this area but say you have a weirder shape or something you can also fill the entire thing like that by clicking the outer circle or click the inner one and it'll remove that area and now you've got a uh, hatched donut. Now like I said you could also, oh another thing is if they are both connected that means you hatch them both in the same command so I didn't hit enter in between doing the two so it's combined them but if you want to separate them simply select it in your hatch editor hit the options drop down and click separate hatches. So now you can see they're all separate I need to reselect my circle.
And there you go. Uh, one, one, uh, one other way to you can hatch things um, by using the pick a point. You can see this is going to create a whole bunch of different areas. So if you just want to hatch a single one, you type in your hatch, click pick points, and you can now hover over which area you actually want to hatch in case you only want to hatch parts of it. But like I said, it'll combine hatches if you haven't hit enter. So if you wanted to hatch all of these, you just click all of them. And let's say I want to leave that one and hit enter. And now I've created a single hatch. If you later want to break that apart, you can use the same method by selecting it, options, and separating the hatch. Or you can also remove areas by typing or selecting remove. I'm going to remove this kind of corner here. That's it. So there you go. That's how to fill a shape or create a hatch in AutoCAD. If you have any questions about this at all, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you have any videos you'd like to see as well, uh, make sure you request them below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Thank you.